like we're officially in Ultra Wings. This is super exciting because this is obviously one of those games that we've all been waiting for for so long. It got great reviews on PC VR. Uh, it's the Pilot Wings VR thing we've been waiting for. It just, it just, uh, I'm just so excited to try this out. But I need you guys to know I want us all to be on the same page. Uh, I, I haven't played this. This is legit. When I say first impressions, that I really, really mean this is first impressions. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so let's see here. We've got a couple gloves. All right. We're looking around. I already changed the comfort mode uh, from comfortable. We're going to pick that up with the trigger and put it all the way over there to none because we want some warning, intense motion, um, flight controls. Let's stick with arcade because arcades are always better than Sims, in my humble opinion. We got some uh, credits over here. These are the people who made the game. Uh, Wayward Island up there. Uh, aircraft. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure we can change all these things later. Uh, this is my save game disc, and we have control over the music. Here, we'll turn it back up a little bit here. And the sound. Fantastic. All right, we got a little piggy bank here. I guess we're going to collect some money and put it all in there. Uh, man, oh, man. I cannot wait to get into some pilot wings. <laughs> I mean, ultra wings. I totally meant to say that. All right. Hey, Dave Station VR. Dude, I always take the plunge on the Australian store. I can't wait for this game to come out tomorrow. I've got to review it tomorrow. I, don't, I can't be playing it tomorrow. Um, so the, one of the weird things already is that... <laughs> I'm glad you're relieved to see it because I'm so excited to do it. Hey, what's up, Bobby T? All right, listen. So very strange. Dr. Doom, thank you. We had so many of those awful bots this morning. I don't want to repeat of that. So sometimes you have to push the trigger down. Uh, no, so the trigger like picks things up like like this, right? But but you have to push the move button down to actually point at things. To, uh, so far, the graphics are awesome, but we're in an office. So let's, let's try to get out. Uh, Mr. Terminator, what's happening? Let's let's uh, let's just go and do our very first thing when you're here. Ready, put on the helmet sitting on your desk to start the first test. Hey, it's like super hot. Put on the helmet. Here we go. Oh, guys, Welcome I'm here, so excited. To pass this first test, all you have to do is... Here, I'm just gonna do my camera here. We're gonna. Uh, oops. It's the ultralight airport. Oh uh, yeah, the accounting plus. Keep an eye on Just your aircraft tablet. It'll provide useful information about aircraft and jobs. Oh man, oh man. Okay. All right, let's get you airborne. Just oh. grab the throttle to your lower left and push it all the way I don't, forward. I don't know, Mikey. There might be some unnecessary you shouting. You'll never forget that first takeoff. Oh my god. Stay airborne until you get the first medal. Well, I gotta say, guys, this is Windlands all over again. You remember when you hit jump the very first time you ever got into Windlands? And you were like, you're like, whoa, I'm up in the air. Well, I gotta tell you right now, guys, we're up in the air again. <laughs> Holy crap. So I turned off all the comfort settings and I'm, I'm very, very happy about this. Dude, I'm sorry you have the flu, uh, but this is, this is incredible. I don't have the fan on currently, Bo, but trust me. <laughs> I know, I can't, I'm like laughing because it's so ridiculous. Um, I don't know what these other things do. One of them is probably gonna make me crash. Um, what does that do? I don't know. We're just gonna push little things and see what happens. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I don't know what it was on, uh, on the Australian store. I already had some money in my account. It was like 35 Australian, I think. I, Mr. Timinator, I really don't know. I'm sorry, bud. I know that it's out in the Australian wow. store right now. And that's all battle. I know. I had a feeling you were a natural. Oh, we got like 500 bucks in our piggy bank already. How do we break this thing open? Pilot, if you find that flight model a bit too hard, try turning on arcade mode. You can change this by grabbing it's it on and arcade mode. post it note underneath flight controls on the board directly to your left. All right, so what are we doing here? This is uh, the second license thing. I don't know if there's any multiplayer in this game. Uh, I, don't, back, pilot. I don't think there test, is. We want you to fly through that ring you see in the distance. What is this? You'll need to start your aircraft by following the visual aids displayed on your tablet. Excellent work. Now take off and keep the aircraft steady as you fly towards the ring. Oh, this is so exciting. Guys, ha <laughs> ha. Holy crap. This is phenomenal. It's it's so oh my god. It the, like the graphics look real simple obviously, but Oh man, I really feel like I am flying right now. I want to turn on a fan because that would absolutely be perfect. I'm going to fly right through the center of the ring. Here we go. 
Oh, hell yeah. Where's the next one? Um, silver. I get a silver for that? Oh, dude. Hey, White. look at that. A silver medal. All right. Go for the gold or continue to the next test. We don't have t we don't have this much time on our hands, guys. We need to are you ready keep for doing more? this. Yeah, the graphics are pretty nice and crisp. You to ascend through the ring you see in the distance. I wish I knew what these little things that, that I'm doing did uh, so I could learn what I'm doing. Remember to pull back on the flight stick and gain elevation. As if this is this is ridiculous, man. It it feels perfect. It it looks. I mean, it's a little fuzzy. I can't lie. What's up, Internet Explorer? It looks a little fuzzy, and I'm on a pro. I don't know if it's got pro support, but the controls feel pretty good. Like, I mean, you can see right down here. You know, when I first saw this, I was like, this is a game for Dual Shock. Obviously, there's so many buttons and so many things to do. But I'd much rather be pushing all the switches and flipping them on myself. Oh man, I gotta say that I. Uh, I do have to say that, like, I do have a little fear of heights, and this is perfect. This is like, oh man, like it, it feels like I'm really high up right now. This is incredible. I don't want them to take me out of it though. As soon as I hit this ring, we just uh, we're just turning left and right and up and down here. I don't I don't know what all these other switches and stuff do. Um, oh, I should I should have been way more careful about uh. About hitting the center of that, so I could have gotten more Not money. Not bad. A silver is acceptable. I wouldn't mind if you went for the gold. All right, all right, we're doing another one. All right, here we Only go. Only a few more tests to go. Ready to practice some banking maneuvers? <laughs> I love VR. I love VR, and this is why I love VR. Keep in mind, you'll need to bank the aircraft to fly through the group of there rings in front of you. This is pretty interesting a indeed. Easier, adjust the yaw by using the aircraft's rudders. All right, I don't, I don't know where the rudders are. <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh man, doorbell roll, doorbell roll. I, I, whew. I hope there's a shootout of the cannon mode. That would make it pilot wings all sorts of crazy. All right, you guys. Oh crap. <laughs> Aim support. You must be on Reddit, guys. You guys are all awesome. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing up for the stream. Uh, what's up, Nonsa? Seventy nine people watching. Jeez, I just started this. So the game I bought this one from the Australian store. It cost like thirty five bucks. Uh, somebody said it cost like I think twenty in the UK. I think. Uh, and it's, I th so I mean, I guess with all that information. I'm assuming this is either going to be like 30 bucks when it hits the US store. That sounds like the right number, but I don't know. I just bought it like everyone else can right now in the Australian store. If you want to do that, um, oh, jeez. I'm like, I'm like, I got to be honest, guys. I'm like a little bit dizzy uh, just because it's like everything's swaying and and I've got my feet. <laughs> I've got my feet like out in front of me as if I'm really in this thing. 24.99. Hell yeah, dude. That is an amazing price. Uh, this, this is, all right, I just want to keep blasting. I just want to blast through all this. This is the anti-accounting. Oh, wear helmet. I forgot to put my helmet on. In this test, <laughs> you're going to learn how to land. I've laid out a set of rings for you to fly through. Try to fly through them as it will help make landing easier. This is crazy, guys. Hey, and guys, you know, we had that strange stream for Accounting Plus this morning. Uh, it was it was very, very strange. I, I should be sitting in a gaming chair. I just bought new office chairs for the Gamescast. The point of the game is just like Pilot Wings. Uh, eventually, it's like an open world game where you, like, fly around and you, like, take on different missions and tasks and stuff. And you try to make money and, like, upgrade your craft and stuff. Um, this is just the training. This is just the, uh, I'm just getting my license right now. Uh, so it's, it's, it, they're just doing, running me through the basics. This isn't, like, the real game. Um, but I'm super excited to get to the real game because this is so much fun. Oh crap! Do I have to land? To 0%, and gently lower the aircraft while keeping it steady. All right, guys, we're going in for a crash landing. Crash landing! Oh man, I, this this feels like it should. Holy crap! Now apply your brakes to come to a complete stop. Where are my brakes? I don't know where my brakes are. <laughs> I just drive around in circles until I stop. I should probably learn uh, the controls for this game. I just kind of blasted through the tutorial. 
for the brakes. Did anybody fly anything around here? Does anyone know brakes? I'm just gonna, like, peter out. You just completed a major milestone. Go ahead and tap on the tablet home button to return to the office. Tablet home button. And so it sounds, sounds like this is going to be coming out tomorrow for the U.S. and for 25 bucks. All right, one more test. Uh, take off. Keep the ultralight flying and land back at the airport. Alrighty. Uh, this is so exciting. I haven't been this excited about a game in a while. This is so good. This is your final test, pilot. I want you to All right. take off. So this is my fuel flow. Stay airborne until you earn a medal and land safely back on the runway. All right, there we go. So that's the fuel flow. Energize Magneto. Okay, I'm, I'm just, sure. I don't, I don't know what Magneto is, except for like the X-Men dude. Uh, pull back the throttle to stop. All right, good to know, good to know. I'm learning things. This is exciting. Remember everything you've learned so far, and you'll do just fine. Good luck. Ah, uh, here we go. I don't think it's out midnight. I'm going to assume, like, whenever the store updates tomorrow, I think it's between, like, 10 and 11. Uh, I think this is already worth the money, and I haven't even, like, done a real mission yet. It, this is worth the whatever I just paid for uh, <laughs> for the training <laughs> modes. Ah, guys, I can't wait for all of you to, like, get into one of these things and take off. Uh, Accounting Plus was a strange stream I did this morning, guys. Uh, I, the humor wasn't for me, and if you and if you don't like the humor, then it's not going to be for you. But if you like the humor, then like somebody mentioned in the comments, it's kind of an escape the room style puzzle game with like an offbeat sense of humor. It wasn't for me. I think it's going to be for a lot of people, though. I think you're gonna, I think a lot of people are gonna like Accounting Plus, and it's cheap, and of course way more to uh, to discover than I found in my stream. Oh man, I love this. Am I just supposed to be getting to the island over there? I wonder what I can do. Do you guys want me to try something stupid, or should I just try to complete the mission? Also, what's my mission? Shouldn't this thing tell me something over here? <laughs> here, let's do a nosedive here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay, I felt that. <laughs> Go see another one. That was so cool. Oh my god. I love this. Alright, barrel roll, here we go, buddy. We're, we're totally gonna crash. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is air traffic control. You are cleared to land. Clear to land? Alright. Wait. Where am I supposed to be? Do I have a map of some sort around here? Alright, I think I'm hitting an invisible wall, right? Because. Yeah, I, I played Shooty Fruity on a stream already. Um, so I think I just hit an invisible wall. I'm not sure. There's like no map around here. So I'm a little confused as to where I'm, I should be going. There's like no little crazy taxi arrow or anything. Um, Doom, are you around? Can you take care of this, uh, this uh, weird ass comment? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with all these, uh, these bots in my streams lately. Holy crap. Are there haters? All right. Yeah, Ace Combat's gonna be awesome. But where the heck am I supposed to go? <laughs> Should just like fly back where I started. No, you're not a bot. There was another bot. Uh, you should definitely get this game, but I will tell you that Shooty Fruity, uh, for, you can go check out my live stream of, uh, of Shooty Fruity. Uh, Shooty Fruity is a lot of fun. It's going to last you. It's going to take you a lot of time to get through and to get all the gold stars. Um, popular enough for bots. I guess that's a new milestone for the channel, isn't it? Let's kill the, uh, this. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah! They murdered Star Wars. Yeah, I heard some bad things about Star Wars. I also heard some good things about Star Wars, too. Very, very divisive movie. I'm gonna. I'm curious to see how that uh, pans out. I'm just gonna flick switches here and stuff. You don't. You don't need that on. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use the trigger for this or my. I'm not allowed to. All right, good. Complete. Home. Here we go. Hopefully, Amazing I can do a real mission job, now. Pilot. You are now right on. Officially licensed to pilot an ultralight. Let's do it. 
I want to pilot an ultralight. Available, pilot. Please check them out on your laptop. Take control of an aircraft in mid-flight and fly through the rings within the time limit. I think I can probably handle that. I can fly through rings. Let's do it. Woohoo. Yeah, I played the X-Wing. Oh, ring sweet! To fly through all the rings before the timer on the tablet reaches zero. There's so many Good rings! Luck. Oh, we agree on Arizona Sunshine, huh? Not everybody says that to me. I, I bet you can run out of fuel. There's like a gauge over here, is that it? Uh, oh, man. This is so exciting! Like, it doesn't even feel like I'm moving that fast, but because of the, uh... Well, 13 Lake, uh, I don't get motion sickness in VR. Christian tomorrow, uh, but I, I definitely, I feel a little bit, like, not nauseous, but I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm flying, so uh, the same, it's got the right sensation, I'll say that, how about that? Yeah, but if you do get motion sickness, there are comfort settings. Oh no, oh no, no, are we gonna make it through the ring? Oh no, pull up, pull up, pull up! Uh oh, we're gonna crash, guys, hold on! <laughs> oh man! I feel like my whole couch just, like, lifted up. I know, no vertigo. No no nausea, no vertigo. I just feel like I'm flying, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, sense of scale is good. It's kind of like a cartoon world. Um, definitely, uh, definitely enjoying this. I don't know if you should buy accounting or shooty fruity. I think you should buy shooty fruity over accounting, but... I, and I don't know, am I supposed to go down there or up there to get, get this money? Alright, I got one more ring to get through. The graphics are similar to Windlands, like not quite as sharp. Roller Coaster Dreams, actually I gotta say, Roller Coaster Dreams made me nauseous, that is definitely a thing. 11 seconds? Guys, I've only got 9 seconds! 8 seconds! Oh, ah! 6! Okay, how do I restart? <laughs> I wanna try again. Alright. No, I don't want to go home. I just want to try again. Alright, maybe they'll let me try again. Hey, pilot. Over here. Yes. The wall speaker speaking to you. Ah, uh, hello. Try the job again. Okay. I think you can do it. Hey, pilot. In free flight, you can explore the island without pressure of completing a job. You can access free flight by either putting on the helmet without... Ha yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there are different planes. All the rings before the timer on the tablet reaches zero. Good luck. Uh, I gotta say, uh, Rec Land, uh, Rec Land, <laughs> uh, Rec Room is awesome. Uh, I don't think Sports Bar is a great game, but I think I think Rec Room kind of has you covered. Uh, maybe some other people can chime in. Uh, people who played Sports Bar more than me. If you guys have some opinions on that, I don't want to be the only one telling this guy. If you should buy Sports Bar or not. And I never played Sports Bar 2.0. I downloaded it and I never played it. Hey, Derek Miller. I'm, I'm glad uh, I'm glad we could be of assistance. Here, I'm going to cut my acceleration here so I can do a tighter turn. I don't know if that's a thing or not. We go nice and easy here. I don't know if we can use Dual Shock, but I don't think you're going to want to. This is this is perfect with move controllers. Uh, guys, make sure you stay tuned for uh, for for Dez's review going live tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for uh, for Shooty Fruity. What's up, Jada? This is Ultra Wings, and Ultra Wings is awesome. All right, we're heading on over there. Cartoon style is great. The graphics look really nice. Dual Shock 4 and Move Support. This is awesome. Got the gold. I'm so glad Dicky Boy's in the comments. He's got me covered. ATB Drifts and Tricks is fine. Except it's all practice mode. It's practice and time trials. And it's just like Motor Racer 4, except with ATBs. Like, I kid you not, identical. It's the exact same game. They just replaced the vehicle. Oh, wait, I already did this one. How do I go to the next one? Uh, just so you guys can see, the. I've only got one aircraft right here, so we are getting a, a different aircraft, I'm sure, soon. Uh, I've got all this little, all this money in my little piggy bank, so that means a thousand. So wait, can I, can I grab this? I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, it's pointing and it's doing things. Uh, here, let's sit back down. Home. 
we already got our license. So what's next? You see these three options up here. Yeah, Ryan, this comes out tomorrow. It's already out in uh, Australia and the UK, apparently. Um, do you need to spin the sign? Oh, it looks like, right? It looks like that. I can't do anything with the sign. N64 version of Pilot Wings, except inside of it, right? So let's get that speaker. I can't do anything here. Can I take the piggy bank and smash it against the wall? Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, see, so we have like, I didn't even notice this. What's up, Stephen Michael, right? How are you? We've got like, all these different little things here. The rudder can be controlled with these up here, so the top two face buttons. Um, all right, that's about it. Oh, and the brake. The brake is that one, that face button there. Fantastic. So, so a little bit, makes things a little bit easier. All right, uh, so what are we doing here? All right, here we go. Now back. Now we're home. Uh, so this one, uh, supposedly, is going to be 25 when it comes out in the store tomorrow. That's that's what we're hearing. All right. Uh, apparently, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, here we go. I had to hit the next button. No one told me there was a next button, except for the button on the screen that said next. All right, let's do a course. All right. Take control of the aircraft mid-flight and fly through a set of score rings. I think we can probably handle this, right? Nice and easy. Wear our helmet. It's, it feels like super hot every time. Pilot, right. fly through a set of rings laid out yeah. around the island. Oh, did, I, did somebody get blocked? I didn't even see. Uh, Stephen Michael Wright, this is fantastic. Uh, I love this. The sense of... Uh, we totally should. This is a, an absolute should we. In fact, uh, I'm, I'm running out of time because I'm supposed to be filming the games cast tonight and uh, like very, very shortly. And I'm playing this and doing a live stream instead of preparing for the games cast. So this is gonna be my should we or shouldn't we, I'm guessing, uh, or maybe I'll just talk about it like a fucking shit ton of games because I've got so many games to talk about since last week. I gotta talk about VR, the diner duo. We gotta talk about Shooty Fruity. We gotta talk about this game, Oracle of Jamie. What's happening, buddy? Pleasure seeing your comments lately. Yeah, the Hodas uh, flight stick, is, is, does anyone, Sorry, Dickie, but I haven't been keeping up with the comments down there. Is uh, is this going to be compatible with the Hodas flight stick? Hands on throttle and steering, is that what Hodas stands for? I always forget. Let's, let's beat this fucker up. Oh, look at this, I can totally steer with those face buttons. It's awesome. Big man Savage Dan, what's happening, dude? Shooty Fruity is tomorrow. It's, like, this is, it's a ridiculous day for PlayStation VR games. Oh, good, you're considering it. All right. Serious Excellent. skills now. Silver's not bad at all, but I think you can do a lot better. All right, let's check the time real quick because, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff I should be doing instead of this. But I, I like this too much, and I'd rather do this and everything else. All right, it's 7:30 over here, and that means uh, I've got like maybe like 10 more minutes, and then I, and then I really got to stop playing this. All right, this is the one I just did. Okay. Excellent, I'm glad you read that blog, man. That way uh, you're keeping us all together. So here are all the different things. Oh, dude, Mervils is awesome. Don't listen to Des, Mervils is fantastic. Uh, oh, okay, let's do the free flight. Explore the world, don't forget to keep an eye on your fuel gauge. There's no reward for it, but what a great, uh, what a great time to do this. Shooty Fruity is tomorrow, and Dez's review is coming out tomorrow uh, for Air Shooty Fruity. Control, you are cleared for takeoff. No, I bought this on the, uh, no, I'm always doing the wrong thing here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, this, and this, this thing over here, I'm not sure exactly what it does, uh, except, except right now I don't seem to be able to grab it. What is that about? I should be able to just do that, right? I can't seem to do that. Why can't I do this? There we go, there we go. That's a little tricky for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, here, let's get, this, let's get this sucker started. There we go, we're moving, we're moving. All right, Brian's, Brian's not a pilot. I'm not a pilot, I don't know what's going on, but I'm learning. 
can get our little compass up here. Uh, it's our little Skyrim compass. It's not hard to fly with the moves, actually. It's, it's, it's like perfect. Uh, I love that everything works so well. How does the back of the plane look? I don't know. It looks like that. Oh, 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 gonna crash. <laughs> Here, let's go left. We haven't been left. Hey, Fruit Ninja's not bad. Uh, it was a little expensive when it came out, but I feel like uh, I feel like if it's on sale or something, it's probably a good deal. Fruit Ninja's fun. What is horrible? Accounting Plus? Accounting Plus, you just have to like the humor. That's the 100% you will get. 100% of your enjoyment of Accounting Plus will come from you enjoying its humor. And if and if not, uh, if you don't enjoy the humor, it's it's not it's not great. Diner Duo is so difficult, man. <laughs> What's up, Fat Acrobat? How you doing? Um, yeah, Diner Duo is very, very difficult. You, if you like the humor in Accounting Plus, then you probably... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I blasted through the whole game in, like, 20, 30 minutes. But there's, like, a whole section I didn't see. So I have to see that section before I can give you an accurate uh, description of how long it is. Brookhaven VR is good. Brookhaven is... Brookhaven's a launch game that feels like a launch game. Like, it's very, very... Uh, it's very jaggy. It's very simple. Uh, but it's it's a lot of fun. Get it on sale. Make sure you don't pay full price for Brookhaven. But guys, Ultra Wings, back on topic. This is awesome. Just... I mean... I can't wait to dive into this more and, like, just get... It. This is the kind of thing you're just going to want to play over and over and over again to get all the medals. So this is the free flight mode that I'm playing right here. We're gonna head over to that island. Right up there. With dude, big statue. Uh, somebody said $25 in the US. I just paid 30 something in Australia. Yeah, seriously guys, uh, all the old subscribers, all the new subscribers, thank you all so much. You guys, my whole world is better because of you guys. Uh, this is this is totally Pilot Wings VR, um, except you know with a little bit more of a, a little. I'm playing on arcade mode, and there's still kind of like this simulation edge where you're like flipping switches and pushing buttons and controlling the throttle over here. Ooh, I feel like I almost spit. I really did. I almost spit over the edge, and I was like, nope, that will just end up on my floor. Whoa, whoa, all right. I feel like I almost stalled out there. My Patreon? No, my Patreon's been up forever. Uh, Patreon.com slash without parole games uh, for just a... <laughs> for, for just a dollar a month. You can get four exclusive episodes of The Litter Box where each of us take the role of the host and we tell you something personal or we play you a song or something like that. I don't know, we, we do still have some of our... Some of our people from uh, before we turned into a VR channel uh, still watch us, and some of them have since gotten a, a VR headset. Uh, Thundercloud being one of the OG GameCats, uh, he, uh, he he actually just bought a Vive. Um, so he, he still he still checks out the channel every so often, and uh, but, but he ended up getting VR. Um, Thundercloud might be the only GameCat to have ever stepped inside my apartment. How majestic do I feel? Oh, pretty good, man. You got feel pretty majestic, but I don't. What I'm not sure about, Coco the poop dog. What's up, dude? Is this? You see this line? Can you guys see the? Uh, oh, I bet we could probably make that happen, Jim. Did you see it? There's a line right there. I wonder if, we're, if that's an invisible wall. Are we gonna hit a wall and not get to this island? We're about to find out. Nope. We just crossed the line, guys. We just crossed the line. We are now in open seas. U.S. laws no longer apply. The gambling will begin. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, there's no motion sickness. Not for me, anyway. Uh, I have, uh, I definitely feel, I definitely feel, you know, the, all the motions. Because my, my brain is just convinced that we're flying. But, uh, but, but I'm not sick. I just, I just feel like I'm flying. Our dolphin. I want to see a dolphin. I'm gonna spit on the dolphin. 
Yeah, the island's getting closer. That's our goal, is the island. <laughs> Ethan, this game's phenomenal. Uh, just the sensation of flight alone is, is awesome, and there's just... It looks like there's going to be a whole lot to do. I, I can't wait. Uh, yeah, I think my VR legs, Noah, are actually better than my... are better than my real legs. Vicky, it looks like, uh, it looks like there's going to be more vehicles, because up on that pin board, uh, there was this vehicle, the Ultralight, and, uh, but, but I haven't unlocked any more yet. Uh, the render distance is great, like, there's no, there's no pop-in or fog or anything. I, I'm thinking, we're thinking 25 bucks, guys. We're thinking 25 in the U.S., but don't quote me on that. Um, but, but, like, everything's, everything's got a little fuzz to it, you know what I mean? Like, everything's got a little bit of a, a, a fuzzy haze, but it's fine. It, it's, uh, it's, this is awesome, and I definitely think it's, it's, it's worth it. This is one of those games that I think changes everything. I think... You know, when, when when Windlands came out and they said, "Yeah, whatever," you know, all these other all these other games are concerned about teleportation and uh, and, and, and click turning and whatever. Windlands came along and was like, "Nope, you control this thing like a first-person shooter. You jump, you really jump." And uh, and and I think this game said the same thing. They're like, "Nope, there are people who are gonna get sick, and we don't care because we we are not catering to those people." Although, let's be fair, there is a uh, there are comfort modes. There's comfort settings. Yes, Scott A Productions, I am playing this on the Pro. Uh, so keep that in mind. I don't know if there's a Pro patch or, or what the deal is, but this is... Uh, I'm playing on a Pro and it, and it looks good. I'm just I'm wondering if it looks exactly the same. Here, let's land. On the PS4 proper. Have a great night, big man, Savage Dan. If anybody's curious about those limited run games and don't want to open up your own copy, Big Man Savage Dan opens up all of them on his channel, so go check out his. All right. All right. So it looks like we're, uh, I, you know, I don't want to crash into a building, but I feel like I should. All right. So it's funny because this doesn't feel like any different than any other VR game. It doesn't feel like it's, uh, you know what I mean? It doesn't particularly feel like... What are we doing here? It's pushing buttons and stuff. Turning everything off. Alright. We're going back. We're going back from once we came. We're back in the office. Let's see what else there are available. Um, the controls are fantastic. It does feel a little weird to have that stick in front of you. Uh, you, you grab the stick. <laughs> explaining how to grab a stick and then uh and then you push left or right but you can obviously move your hand way further left or right than than the stick goes so that feels a little weird but i'm sure you just get used to it um see here we got uh, our comfort mode settings and again i don't know what is up with this up here like what is what is this this and this what is this sign i have no idea guys this, there are so many things i want to learn about um, but look, okay, you can actually see here, you can actually see what the comfort settings are without us having to do it. None is exactly what we had. Clear, uh, it gives you some more, uh, some stuff surrounding you, so more of like a roll cage kind of thing. Uh, and then comfortable, like put some, geez, uh, I mean, it looks like windows you'd see on a church, uh, like all surrounding you, so that I'll make it. Uh, the immersion's good, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say it's like a 9 out of 10, only because the graphics aren't like really realistic, but you do get that sense of flying. Uh, so pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, I'm just curious, like, what to do, what to do next. Like, I'm very, I'm a little confused because, well, there's a sign for the game. So do I have to get, do you think I have to get, uh, gold on everything? I got all my, I got all my licenses. Maybe they think I'm sexy. Well, that's very nice of whoever thinks I'm sexy. We don't hear that very often. Uh, they did say there's limited fuel, so there's that. Map on the right. Alright, but, but what do I do? The floppy disk is supposed to be my saved game. Uh, where is there... There's no floppy disk drive around here, is there? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. You can put it in here. Alright. So, unfortunately, I wish I had all the time in the world to play with this thing. 
uh, but I don't, and I just totally ruined my computer by shoving my hand into it. <laughs> So that's going to do it. That's going to do it for the stream, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got to get ready for the games cast because those guys are going to be here soon, and I need to make sure I'm ready. Uh, but I'm going to play the crap out of this game tonight and hopefully have a review up tomorrow or uh, or at least some more, some more impressions for you. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I will do my absolute best to cover every single game that's coming out uh, tomorrow and, of course, for the rest of eternity. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'm Brian Paul. I love you all.